for race five. It is finally time to let the field loose and go racing. We are underway here on Portside Pursuit for 41 laps around this half city half hill track and so far it is going to be a start in the dry as we see already one of the players it seems to have been i freezer that i might have uh, missed the mark indeed completely clattering the wall into turn number two in the meantime our pole sitter quick battling tooth and nail versus shadowy and pecking into for the benefit of the league currently quick managing to retaliate on the attack of shadowy through the chicane going all the way around the outside carrying a lot more speed at the exit of the corner compared to shadowy who's washing out wide towards the exit which is not exactly the most ideal line you can take and pecking into from b2 esports not looking to uh keep himself too far away from that battle as uh, speedy and shadowy battle for third position heading back downhill with pecking into having much more speed compared to the frenchman moving up into p4 now and once again quick just trying to go for his uh, signature line as early as he can but also super start from funky job starting from p7 in the field moving up to a battle for second place in the early part of this race so far Mata managing to make a superb start as well from P33, moving up into P3 at the moment. 30 places gained in the space of the first lap of the race. Fick continuing to pile on the very fast lap. Sona 6.929, the previous time from the race leader. And behind we find a bit more of a French battle up... Uh, Brewing up between Eye Freezer, Dazzle, as well as, uh, well, we had Shadowy and Shadow in there as well. There they are. And uh, we also have Pardon Vetter, the Dutch uh, driver from the Nata Herders. Trying to uh, spy maybe a bit of an occasion to move up further and further up into the top 10. Oh, and that occasion has presented itself with that little mistake from, I think it was Dazzle. Yeah, it was indeed the man from Loading that uh, had a little bit of a moment and hit one of the rocks on the outside. And that's going to be promoting almost everyone up a place, including Shorty, who is now at the very gate of the top 10, being safeguarded by Lingo, who's going to be touching the wall on the outside, heading into turn 16, along with Pardon Ferta looking a little bit slow as well. So Shorty moves up into P9 as a result of that corner, and Oras as well from Mommy Nolkers moving up into P10. 18% of tires left. Is he going to continue full speed? Yeah, he's going to be breaking very heavily because you can see the pit, uh, the pit entry is very, very close. Seyraf continues to extend, decides to go for the lap 9 gamble. Meanwhile, Kaluf and Speedy decide to go for the pits. Shorty looking much better in terms of tire capital compared to uh, compared to Seyraf, but here his limiting factor will be fuel. Currently sitting at less than 14 liters in the tank. There it is. And Seyraf also breaking a little bit later, managing to uh, pile a bit more speed and just ha go hard on the anchors to get... Ahead of Shorty before the pit stop. Shadow and Shadowy also joining in as Kvik retakes the lead. Well, retakes the virtual lead of that particular race. Akros is still yet to pit. Although he's going to be looking to coast all the way down the hill. He has misjudged the pit opportunity. He's He completely missed the pit entry. Is it going to be a retirement from Akros? We're just going to be following along with... Uh, with a cross as he tries to make it on fumes as Kvik, the race leader, has full stop picked into the shipping containers, allowing Speedy to move up into the lead of the race. And that is going to be the retirement for the man from Team Wombo. And yeah, Kvik, that was such a huge crash heading into turn 19 for the Norwegian. And now here we are, Kvik and Speedy heading to the pits. Breaking marker pretty much picked to perfection for both of the leaders. The nine lappers are going to be coming up next with Shorty Shadow and Picking Into. Picking Into looking very, very snizy here in terms of the uh, tire situation as Lucario and Nano both pick up 10 second penalties for speeding in the pit lane. In the meantime, it's Shadow getting reeled in slowly but surely by Picking Into. Crossing the line to start lap number 18. The last lap of the stint there for the top three. And more likely top four, five, and six as uh, we see I Freezer, Piadat, and uh, Shadow in there as well. And there we go. The junction has been made between Peking Inta and Shadow. Peking Inta looking to try and make a move happen there sooner rather than later. Heading into the chicane. And with the tired if, it should be Shadow that will uh, have to relinquish the, the second position as uh, Tobos is going to be next to be put one car behind the lead, uh, one lap behind the lead car. Oh, Shadow extending way out wide. Who's got the better exit speed? It's going to be picking into, but slightly. Shadow continues to cling on to that second position on the racetrack. Ooh, nice.
nice solid attack from Pegging Inter here on this left-hander. 10% of tires left on the side of Shadow. Five liters of fuel left on the side of Shorty. He's going to be making his way into the pits. Pialath as well, below the 10% mark. And tires left. 8.7% of tires. Shorty, Shadow, Pegging Inter. And Pialath make it to the pit lane. Heading through the harbor, chasing down Golden Nugget. And now we're dipping into very, very quick territory. 105.830, sub 106 from Quick. Winding the gap to 1.2 seconds ahead of Speedy. And that is some half a second ahead of the nearest fastest lap uh, contender, that being Mutta. Still sitting on this point 305 from a few laps back. Continuing to fight tooth and nail with Golden Nugget for that benefit of 6th position. Dexter has retired. He was having a very, very lonely race. Did not have the best of qualifying sessions after having completely stacked it in the final corner. And the German calls it quits. Mara Golden Nugget going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wheel to wheel almost. Oh, but we unfortunately braced the wall. On the side of Golden Nugget, which is going to be promoting Moda up into P6 and Bazaker up into P7 as well. Racer is a little bit too far behind to take advantage of that mistake from uh, Golden Nugget. In fact, let's take a look at the uh, at the pit stops graph. So you can see the leader still in staying consistent. Actually, except for Seraf, who extended with a nine lapper. I that's uh, just a bit of a short-term memory on my part. He did a nine lapper stint first, and then decided to go for a bit of a push stint, going for a seven lap one to get back in line with the main uh, the main contenders who are looking to do four stoppers as well oh that's a heavy crash from Seraph though and that's an unfortunate one that's a pinball one that sends him from one side of the crane all the way full stop picking into the uh, shipping container and just like that the check driver is falling out of the top 10 racer light though will be promoting him back into the top 10 briefly as he makes his way into the pit lane and there he is. You can see the drops. There's the reins. Cars are full. Slippery track. Adapt your driving style. It's starting now, ladies and gentlemen. And here we already see Fig getting cautious at the entry into turn 16. Dropping a lot of speed. And basically just lifting up the throttle. Trying to go for the no slide approach. Trying to keep the four wheels still gripping the road. Pylon, and there's going to be a retirement for Dan Polito, who might have crashed out at the exit. And Carlos looking very slow as well, going into the pit lane. There's going to be another uh, another stop for uh, for the man famed for second places. There's no other ways around it. Ten liters of fuel left for Quick. Now the butter zone is going to be nine, and he might have to. Yeah, I said he's going to be looking towards the lap 33 stop, and that window is more than open for him to. Uh, Take to the pit lane. There you go. 8.5. Less than 7 liters of fuel left in the tank as he enters the pit lane. For what is looking to be the final time here in this race for the Norwegian. Oh, decides to fill at 81. Decides to go with one extra lap of fuel to spend as little time in the pits as reasonably possible. Speedy in the pit lane. And Mata looking a lot slow compared to... Uh, Marius due to a messed up entry into lap 35 on the part of the Australian. Oh, Shofi, what doing? Shofi is out. Shofi is dead. Shofi has uh, gone a little bit too wide. Unless he might have uh, still made it unscathed, question mark. Shofi? Shofi's back on track and is still running. Okay, I was getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit ahead of myself there, but uh, yeah, very unfortunate crash on the side of uh, Shofi. Five to go, starting now for Kvik. 19 seconds ahead of Shorty and Pecking Enta. Actually, Shorty looking very slow from the exit of turn 16, and that's going to be promoting Pecking Enta up into a provisional second place. Looking to stop at the end of lap 37, but... This is not really going to be any beneficial due to the track being completely rained out. It's going to be meaning he cannot push as hard as he would like. And he's going to be hitting the wall at the entry into turn number one even from picking into Pesaker. Looking to uh, take advantage of the pit stop from Shorty to move up into third position, provisionally speaking. Kaluf one lap down, of course. Shadani moving up into P8. Shorty still hanging around in P7. He has two laps to make on 10 liters. There's no way. 
Or is he trying to get left by Kvik? There you go. Kvik might be the savior of Shorty there. Kvik heading into this final lap. He will be soon seeing Shorty on the racetrack. Goes for a little bit of a slide and hits the wall at the exit of turn two. Now, where is Shorty at? Shorty is entering the harbor section with three liters left to fuel. Kvik is starting to get a little bit closer. That might be the saving grace for the German to try and salvage P7. Another top 10 finish, which would be a strong result given the conditions. There is Kvik. Shorty is going past the final corner. He's strategically slowing down, I'm guessing. There comes Kvik. Where is Shorty? Shorty is currently sitting Sitting at the very, very edge of the racetrack. Is he going to try to slow down? Where's Quick? There he is. Slowed down just in time. Shorty will be taking to the finish line. And thus, only six drivers will be finishing on the lead lap. Perfect call there from Shorty.